Welcome to the retail store demo on the Revel Systems Point of Sale. Revel Systems POS is an award-winning iPad point of sale solution for all businesses from single location shops to multi-location enterprise clients. We tailor every POS to the specific needs of each business through the suite of features including integrated payroll, inventory tracking, customer relationship management, and so much more. With our user-friendly, highly organized, and simplified user interface, Rebel Systems POS is designed for businesses to turn high-volume sales in a short period of time. You can begin by logging into the POS system using your PIN number entered on the management dashboard. Let's start by adding an item to the order ticket. Products are organized in the system by product category, subcategory, and product class. For example, t-shirts are organized under the category men's tops and the subcategory t-shirts. The t-shirts are then further organized under the parent product classes white t-shirts and blue t-shirts, and each child product is organized by two product attributes, fit and size. For clients whose product offering consists of an array of similar items available across a variety of options, for example, t-shirts of different fits and sizes, Matrix Inventory offers the ability to track inventory for each specific product. For example, regular fit small blue t-shirts or slim fit medium white t-shirts, while providing a streamlined workflow for employees who are processing transactions on the POS. In this case, you can add a slim fit white medium t-shirt. As mentioned, fit and size are your two product attributes. We can finish by adding this product to the order by tapping Add. Matrix Inventory provides an extremely robust, high-level organization of your product offering, allowing you to streamline your business and easily scale up as your business matures. Once added to the ticket, if you tap on the product, this will bring you to the Product Details screen on the right-hand side. This screen allows you to edit the order on the fly without having to go through and re-enter the whole thing from the beginning if your guest changes their mind at checkout. It provides fast and accurate order entry for your staff, thereby reducing the service times and increasing accuracy. There are addition and subtraction buttons. These buttons allow you to adjust the numbers of that specific product in your customer's order. In product details, you can apply a discount that was entered on the management dashboard or even apply one manually at the POS on a case-by-case -case basis. Let's say that your customer brings you a slightly damaged t-shirt and wants a discount on it. You can apply a 15% discount at checkout. Enter the reason and the discount will be applied, provided that the user has the appropriate manual discount privileges assigned to them in the management dashboard under role permissions. You can also remove tax for customers that present tax-exempt documentation at the time of checkout for qualifying products. An extension of this would be to create tax-exempt product groups on the management dashboard that are never taxed and assign zero tax to that product group. This is great for retailers that carry a large quantity of tax-exempt goods and services. Assigning zero tax to the product group on the management dashboard eliminates the human error from the sales process that can occur during your busiest hours. Within product details, you can also check on the inventory of the specific product at all of your other locations. If your customer wants more of that product, or if you want to check the inventory of another size or color at another location. You can easily go back to the item and edit the details if your customer decides they want to change something about the order, like the size or color in this case. Once you make the adjustments, select Update, and the order will be adjusted accordingly. You can discount an item by clicking on the right-hand side where it says Discount Item, or by selecting Percent Discount in the scroll of Action buttons at the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. For example, you can apply a buy one, get one 50% off discount on all men's tops. You can set this discount to auto-apply on specific dates, days of the week, and even specific time slots depending on the nature of your sales and marketing promotions. According to the settings in your management dashboard, when you enter your second t-shirt, the 50% off discount will automatically apply to the second shirt. You can attach a customer to the order by clicking on Customers. Here you can add a new customer or select an existing customer. Click on New Customer and enter their first and last name as a minimum. Adding details such as birthday, email address, customer group, and special notes helps create an intelligent customer knowledge base and can make email and marketing promotions and day-to-day -day customer service more powerful and targeted, thereby increasing the reach of your marketing efforts. Let's select one of your existing customers and tap Add to Order. A helpful pop-up in the right-hand corner of the screen gives you a snapshot of that customer, detailing number of visits, total payments, refunds, and discounts. Furthermore, customer purchase tracking is presented in detail in the Customer Order Report in the Management Dashboard, We'll dive into that report in greater detail during the second half of this demo. 
You can now ring up your customer's order and take payment. Enter the payment screen by tapping the dollar sign button. Within the screen, your customer can pay by cash, credit, check, manually enter the credit card number, gift card, or credit plus. Credit plus is a payment type and there are many reasons why a client would want to use this payment method. If a client uses a separate terminal or console to process payments that isn't integrated with the Revel system, then they can pay using Credit Plus. Essentially, we're just tracking transactions in the back end with Credit Plus. Another example would be if a business accepts a different type of payment, like traveler's checks, they can use Credit Plus to finish the order. Within the payment screen, you can also choose to provide your customer with a gift receipt, email the receipt, refund their payment while performing a return, or redeem loyalty program points. Once your customer has paid, you can select Done and exit the payment screen and begin serving the next customer in line. When a customer wants to return an item but they have lost or misplaced the original receipt, you can find the product in the system by searching the product name or barcode in the Returns tab under Settings on the POS. You can select the product that your customer wants to return, adjust the price based on any sales currently happening on those products, select the quantity, and whether or not the product will be put back into saleable inventory. You can then choose to attach a customer to the order and select cash or store credit as the tender types that you accept for receiptless returns. In this case, let's select store credit and tap OK. In the management dashboard, you can select one or both of these tender types to be available on the POS. You now have store credit due to your customer and the system has prompted you to add items to the order or put that credit onto a gift card for your client. Let's say your client decided they wanted to exchange the size and color. We can add their selection to the order, cash out, select done, and close this transaction. Exchanges are a common occurrence in the day-to-day -day operation of any retail establishment. Under the Orders tab, you can look up the order of any customer you have sold to historically in a variety of different ways using the information found directly on the receipt. You can enter the order ID, scan the barcode, enter the call number, enter the last four digits of the credit card used during the original purchase, or by searching all orders from the current day. Once you have your customer's order pulled up, in order to perform the exchange, you can tap the product and select Exchange Items. Once in the exchange screen, you can then adjust the quantity being exchanged, adjust the price, and choose to put the products being returned back into saleable inventory. Then select Next. The system will then prompt you to enter a reason for the exchange. Within this screen, you can also attach a customer, thus allowing you to track the purchase history of your customers. Once you've entered the necessary information, you can select Next and exit the Exchange screen. The system will then prompt you to add new items to the order. All returns and exchange transactions will reference the original transaction number at the top of the order. We can now cash out and close this transaction. The system treats exchanges and returns as separate transactions from the original order, which keeps reporting clean, organized, and extremely easy to retrace. By granting the appropriate role permissions in the management dashboard, you can have the ability to update inventory directly from the POS. This is a live update, meaning that information inputted from the POS will directly adjust inventory information and inventory reporting in the management dashboard. You can access the POS inventory management module by tapping Settings, select Manager, and select Inventory Management. Here you can update the inventory of an item by searching for the product name or barcode. You can adjust the cost of the product, the sale price, receive inventory of that product, update actual inventory count, and report damaged product. Once again, all information entered on the POS will also update inventory numbers in the management dashboard upon syncing. You can also receive a purchase order on the POS by selecting POs in the top right-hand corner of the inventory management screen. Then you can bring up a PO by searching for the ID number. Here, you can enter the numbers of each item that you received in the shipment and push Submit. Inventory will be updated accordingly. You can generate invoices and place items on layaway directly from the POS. You can begin by adding an item to your order and tapping the small envelope button on the left-hand side of the screen. You can then link a customer to the order and send the invoice to the customer via email. Then upon selecting Hold Invoice, the system will prompt you to select the product that you want to remove from inventory and put into layaway. 
Lastly, you can bring up the order you just placed on Layaway within the Orders tab under Outstanding Invoices, and that product is now marked as being on Layaway. Speed of service is crucial to any retail establishment. Unreliable internet connections can negatively impact the rate at which you process sales on many other POS systems in the market. The Revo POS offers an always-on mode that differentiates itself from the standard offline mode offered by other POS companies. Always-on mode allows our clients to continue to take payments and orders completely uninterrupted during an internet slowdown to make sure you're completely protected from losing sales. There is no glitch, lag, or slowdown of the POS functionality during the internet slowdown or outage. Our advanced hybrid architecture enables the system to run on a local network uninterrupted and still get all the perks of a cloud-based system. All transaction information will resync with the cloud once connectivity returns, no data is compromised. Custom limits can be set in the management dashboard to decline offline payments of sales higher than a certain amount to protect your business. Always On Mode is designed for your peace of mind and offered to all of our clients at no additional charge. We believe that this is how POS should function and we're pleased to offer this convenient functionality to all of our clients. Now let's transition from the iPad to the management dashboard. The Revel System Point of Sale provides the most robust management dashboard on the market with all of your POS information in one place. This website is unique to your business and presents you with real-time reporting and allows you to control all aspects of your business from anywhere, at any time, from any device that can access the internet. Features include seamless QuickBooks integration, customer insight, sales summary, hourly sales, product mix report, inventory management, employee scheduling, and so much more. This is the Overview tab. Here you'll find information regarding payments, including credit card payments, cash payments, discounts, and tax. On this page, you'll also find valuable information regarding new and repeating customers and their payment habits. You can see today's overview, yesterday's overview, or create a custom time frame to see the overall health of your business during that time. Within the Reports tab, there are close to 40 different reports that will give you, the business owner, valuable information about the health of every aspect of your business, allowing you to make intelligent, highly informed decisions, sending you in a direct path to sustainable growth. This is a sales summary report. Here you'll see summarized financial information on your sales numbers in real time, allowing you to adjust your strategies to help you meet and exceed your targets. Also presented within this report is information on which dining options are driving the highest revenue, thereby allowing you to adjust your service offering based on demand. You can sort this report based on dining option, POS station, a specific employee, or a defined time frame. The sales summary report can also be exported to a variety of file types to work in conjunction with other tools that you use to manage your business. This is the operations report. Here you can access detailed financial information required for accounting and tax purposes. This is essentially a detailed version of the sales summary report and can be filtered by POS station, employee, or a custom time frame. Also, you can filter by order status, whether the order is open, unpaid, or irregular, the operations report can be exported to a variety of file types and to work in conjunction with other tools that you use to manage your business. This is the hourly sales report. Within this report, you can see your sales per hour in real time. This report will allow you to clearly identify your busiest time frames, which will allow you to staff appropriately and take advantage of a full house to drive marketing promotions. This is a product mix report. This report is one of the most used reports on the management dashboard and delivers key information regarding your top selling products. You can filter this report to be POS station specific, employee specific, and also customize the time frame you're interested in. So this report can give you a tremendous amount of insight into the demand for your product offering. On the left hand side, you can see your top 10 most selling products by profit, and on the right hand side, the top 10 most selling products by quantity. The goal here is to adjust your offering and your sales and marketing strategies to get congruency between these two graphs, meaning that of your entire product offering, you're selling the highest quantities of your most profitable products. This report is versatile in the sense that it can be customized to suit your needs in the details that are presented in the report. For example, you can choose to sort by product so you can see which subcategory of products is selling the best along with your top selling modifiers so that you can intelligently adjust your offering based on demand and profit. 
Valuable cost information is also presented here. As a business owner, you can clearly see the comparison of cost of goods sold to total sales and the margins you're making on all of your products, thus allowing you to make calculated and informed decisions on what you offer your customers. You can also export the information in this report to a variety of different file formats, PDF, CSV, Excel, and JSON as necessary for your business. This is the order history report. Here you can see a list of all the transactions that you've made for the time frame that you select. You can also see the reporting number, order number, the employee that created the order, the date and timestamp that it was opened and closed down to the second, as well as the final total and how much of that amount was paid. You can also filter this report by dining option, open closed orders, search your entire order history by credit card number, order ID number, or transaction number, making it extremely easy to track down a historical order in the system and also filter the report to a custom time frame. This is a payment summary report. Here you'll find information on what type of payment your customers are using to pay for the transaction, whether it's cash, credit, gift card, Bitcoin, or check, just to list a few. This is valuable to gain insight into how your customers prefer to handle their transactions, thereby allowing you to offer payment options that work with their lifestyles. The Other Reports tab allows you to access a variety of reports that will give you valuable information on any aspect of your business. We believe in intelligent reporting, and as such, we always create new reports to give you more insight regarding the health of your business. We'll revisit the Other Reports tab later in this demo. The Products tab allows you to create new products for your business. Products are organized in the system by product category, subcategory, and product class. For example, t-shirts are organized under the category men's tops and the subcategory t-shirts. The t-shirts are then further organized under the parent products white t-shirts and blue t-shirts, and each child product of the parent products is defined with the two product attributes, fit, and size. For clients whose product offering consists of an array of similar items available across a variety of options, for example, t-shirts of different fits and sizes, Matrix Inventory offers the ability to track inventory for each specific product, while providing a streamlined workflow for employees who are processing transactions on the POS. Matrix Inventory provides an extremely robust, high-level organization of your product offering, allowing you to streamline your business and easily scale up as your business matures. You can create product groups for discounting and special tax purposes and customize discounts that apply only on certain days at specific times. Just like the buy one get one 50% off t-shirt discount that auto applied to your order on the PUS during the first half of this demo. Further, you can create customized taxes and apply them by geographic location, on the product level, or on special customer groups depending on your business requirements. Lastly, you can export all of the product matrix data as an Excel file and import everything at one time to make all of your updates instantly so that you can work more effectively and efficiently. Our powerful product inventory management system is engineered to support your scale up and success. Inventory management allows you to see information about products that you offer at your retail establishment. As you can see here, with a regular fit large blue t-shirts, you can view barcode, SKU, bin number, class, and primary vendor information in this table. You also have a unit of measurement and a low stock alert, so if you were to enter a number into this field, let's say 50, you'll be alerted when you have 50 of these t-shirts left in inventory. Also, you have a cost per inventory unit, total cost, and items left in inventory. You currently have zero regular fit large blue t-shirts left in inventory. By clicking on show all actions, you can see a variety of actions you can take related to inventory. For example, you can receive inventory here. So let's say you received 100 new shirts at $12 per unit from your supplier. You can enter in 100 shirts and tap Receive. Now your current inventory has been updated. You also have the ability to report damage or wasted inventory, which is critical for accurate stock levels and reporting. Let's say four shirts arrive damaged. You can adjust the cost and say Arrive Damage and click Add Damage. You also have the ability to transfer these units to another location as long as the barcode and SKU are the same. Additionally, you have the actual cost displayed. You can reset the total cost or reset the whole product. Setting up your vendors and assigning specific products to each vendor is easy under the Vendors tab. 
As you can see, you can fill out all the contact information for your vendor, name, address, contact information, shipping details, and assign specific products from your offering to this vendor to make reordering quick and efficient. You can generate a new purchase order by clicking Generate PO. When you enter the PO screen, all of your vendor information and your shipping and contact information will auto-populate. You can add items to reorder within the product list supplied by that vendor. adjust the desired quantity, add any specific comments like delivery instructions, and click Save at the top of the page. This will automatically take you into the Purchase Orders tab and generate your purchase order. You can then print the PO to a PDF file and send it to your vendor via email to place your order. When your shipment from your vendor arrives, you can receive your order in the management dashboard by clicking on the Receive icon on the Purchase Order screen. While receiving product, you can report on any damaged or missing items from your order, add detailed comments on the order you received, print a PDF, and send that received order receipt to your vendor informing them of the errors in the order. You can see a summary of all of your inventory-related activities in the Product Inventory Summary Report. This is a Product Inventory Summary Report. This report will show you all the different products you have in your inventory. So you can see the regular fit large blue t-shirt inventory summary. 100 were received and 4 arrived damaged. You can see that the end quantity has been adjusted to account for the damaged t-shirts. Your percent quantity has increased and is reporting at 9,600% because you had zero t-shirts to start with. The ending cost and total value of your inventory are also reported here. This is a customer order report. Here you can gain insight into what your customers are purchasing and allow you to track their purchasing habits. The top banner gives you a summary of that person's purchase history, detailing their contact information, latest purchase, total orders, and how many of those are paid. If they're not equal, there's an outstanding balance due. Also, total invoices and total sales. Expanding items within each order allows you to see what products they actually bought, which is helpful when you want to personalize your service on the customer level, perhaps reward certain frequent customers with discounts off something they buy frequently and in large quantities. This is a serial number report. This report displays all the product with serial numbers that have been sold. If a customer is attached to the order and the appropriate fields are completed in the CRM, the serial number report will display their name, phone number, and email address. Also displayed are the date and timestamp, store name, order number, product name, and barcode. You can search the serial number report and filter based on order type, in-store delivery, and a defined time frame. If you have multiple establishments, selecting Show All Establishments will display all serial number data from all of your establishments and allow you to effectively track your product sales by serial number. Clicking Schedules will take you to your Shift Schedule tab, but first we can set some timesheet rules. In Timesheet Rules, you can configure different options for your timesheet. There are fields like Maximum Hours Per Day, Maximum Overtime Hours Per Day, the multiplier for overtime, and the multiplier for double time. You also have the maximum hours per week and allow clock in before shift, which is a great feature. If you allow clock in before shift, the employee can clock in but will not start getting paid until their scheduled start time. You can also select the time on how early they can clock in. Here you can set the condition that you only want employees to be able to clock in 30 minutes prior to their shift. You can set the condition that the seventh day worked is overtime. Choose to display declared tips and payroll and also get details on the type of payment used for those tips. You can adjust the day your week starts on and also the time your business opens. Enabling auto clock out allows you to set a time to automatically clock out. This is great for when employees forget to clock out. 
Let's adjust the auto clockout time to 15 minutes after the employee's shift ends. We can calculate paid and unpaid breaks by setting rules. For example, your employee must work four hours before they qualify for a break. You can then set the time duration of the break by adjusting the slide control. The system also allows the employee to declare what type of break they're going to be taking, paid or unpaid. You can now move directly into creating a shift schedule. All of your employees are visible in a drop-down menu table format. The way to add a shift is simply clicking on a day, selecting Add New, and setting up the hours that employee will work that day. Please note that this is a 24-hour clock. You can set the end status of their shift to clock out, designate their role, and save. You can see that the schedule will populate with the shift that we just entered. The timesheet is color-coded based on your settings and timesheet rules and the number of hours worked by any given employee. For example, two of our employees are working overtime this week, as indicated by orange text. You can choose to display total wages or leave them off if you want to print the schedule and post it somewhere in your business. Another great feature of the scheduling tool is that you can email each employee with their schedule and have them accept their own schedules or contest them, in which case you would work with them to have certain shifts covered by other employees. As long as you have an email address entered in for each employee in employee details, you can send them the schedule. The yellow line indicates that the employee has received the email but has yet to respond. If they accept the schedule, that line will turn green. If they have a shift conflict and reject the schedule, the line will turn red and in your inbox will be an email with the reason the employee rejected the schedule. The Wage Forecasting tab is an extremely helpful tool for setting a target percentage of your total sales that you want to spend on wages. By entering a figure for forecasted sales, you can then see that the system will calculate the forecasted labor cost percent and indicate how that forecasted figure compares to the labor cost percent goal entered above. Depending on whether your forecasted labor cost percent is above or below your target, you can then adjust your shift schedules accordingly. We also have the Time Work tab that will show you the clock in, clock out status and the total hours worked that week by each employee. Lastly, we have the Payroll tab that will show you a breakdown of the payroll for each employee and allow you to export to a variety of different file types, as well as searching payroll by a custom time frame or by the employee's role. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos from Revel Systems.